Uh, what is double consciousness? Double consciousness is the ideology that I will, I'll make it, I'll personalize it. An African American has to live two lives. One in his or her own setting, personally in the outside setting where, where there's a certain decorum, there's a certain way to talk, dress, act out in public where you are not the majority and there's another way you act in private. So that's that's my understanding of double consciousness. The second question is, what is double consciousness? Okay, sure. I said you could go first. Um, the way I understood it, not being an African American myself, but trying to understand the African American experience, the way someone explained it to me is that um, you don't your identity is African American, but you might not necessarily have an American identity because of the way that you've been treated um, as someone that's a native of this country. And so, are you African or are you American? Yeah, and then out of that, right? Out of both being having an African self and an and a American self, an American is defined as white, you have conflicting interests. And uh, part of the difficulty of the is that we, we know ourselves and we know what we want to have an American community. And we have a full understanding of, of whites and what they're thinking about, what they're trying to accomplish, and understanding that whites don't have a bus. And so we have to negotiate both of those things at all times, both our own feelings and our treatment and white action and reaction in a way that people who are not in our oppressed position don't have to negotiate. Okay. Um, third. Uh -huh. Being an African American and an Aggie, there are no conflicts? Okay. And well, there might be for people like here, but I can't change it. But I don't know. I remember last week there was. Wow, uh, <laughs> that upset you as well. Okay. Um, do you think that African Americans run into conflicts in the U.S. about being African American? I'm sure some of them probably still do. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that racism is not fully gone or demolished in any way. People are still that way. There's. Do you think there are any conflicts with being black and an Aggie? I mean, not really. I have a lot of black friends who are Aggies, and like he says, like sometimes, like it's a little weird because, like, he had like one example. Of one of my good friends, like one of his first classes, someone asked him what sport he played, and he was like, seriously? And you know, like that kind of bothers me. But I, mean, I haven't really heard much besides that. Okay. Um. Do you think that there are conflicts between being black and in America in general? Like, do you think that there are conflicts between being black and in America in general? No. Absolutely. I, mean, I feel the same way about like, all this. Like, um, do you think there are any conflicts with being African American and an Aggie? No, I'm, I have no problem with it at all. Uh, do you think that African Americans run into conflict? Oh, do they run into conflict? Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe in the past, but I think uh, now, I think uh, people are much more accepting, and I think it's a good move for, towards that. Okay, and do you think there are conflicts with being black and in America in general? Uh, I, I don't think so. I, uh, you know, I, I grew up in history and I learned a lot and there's no doubt that uh, African Americans uh, had a lot of pressure, you know, in the 60s and everything, but I think uh, we moved it as, as evidenced by last night. I definitely think that uh, the Americans have made a mandate that, you know, while there is some racism in America, I think they've made a lot of strides. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what are some conflicts with being both an African American and an Aggie? Well, basically, I don't think Aggies sometimes see the views of African Americans. This is a predominantly conservative uh, institution, and I don't feel like you understand the culture. Exactly. So I don't. We don't understand the culture. There's going to be some kind of conflict. And or I some feel kind like they just kind of recruit us just for the numbers yeah. rather than you know for what we actually offer to them. Last question: What are some conflicts with being both African American and an Af both black and Af and an American? 
It's, um, well, now that Obama's been elected, it might be different, but at the same time, we have principles and ideals, and being black also in this country, it's a lot of things that they fall short of with um, the black community. Great. Um, do, you have, do you think there are any conflicts with being an African American and an Aggie? Okay, do you know I, and, and the reason is, is because I don't I don't think uh, race should come into being an actor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and do you think there are any conflicts with being an African American and an American? In America. No. So yeah, the same answer. No. What um last question, what are some conflicts with being both black and American? These are difficult questions. These are difficult questions but excellent questions. This is a historic day. You mm -hmm. you know that. You know that. Mm -hmm. So so I would say prior to this campaign, prior to Barack, there was that clash between I'm black and I'm American. I'm an American citizen, but can I be both? Am I in fact both? And what this country is showing us, what Barack's presidency is going to show us is that we are both. So, um, can you explain some of the conflicts you run into being black and an Aggie? Ooh. The conflict. The conflict, what you mean? Like, like conflicts. Any, any things that you've noticed while being on campus here that uh, are different from where you come from? To. You barely get spoken to? Yeah, 99.9%. About to be a 2%er. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you really don't belong. Like that, don't, don't nobody really speak to you. Like you, you just put the head down, and I, I like follow them, turn around, and then they pick the head back up and keep walking. They don't, they don't like the speaker. I don't know why. I get them stern. Any idea of who W. E. B. Du Bois is? Du Bois is? No. There you go. No idea. Do you have any idea who W. E. B. Du Bois is? I've heard the name. Okay. okay. Okay, so do any of you have an idea who W.E.B. Du Bois is? Okay, so do any of you have an idea who W.E.B. Du Bois is? No. <laughs> okay, so who is W.E.B. Du Bois to you? Um, he was a smart founder of the African American education and he helps um, just to promote black awareness. Okay. okay, can you tell me who W.E.B. Du Bois is? Yes, he is the uh, 18th century. He was back in those times. He worked a lot for black and black African Americans uh, in the educational system. First question, who is W.E.B. Du Bois? Uh, du Bois is a sociologist. He was born in, what, I think, 1868, died in 1863, right before the March on Washington. Uh, he wrote the Philadelphia he also founded the NAACP. He is a great black leader. Um, and all the civil rights leaders attribute their leadership in some way to Du Bois' work. He fought with Booker T. Washington a lot. And he had the idea that black people could uplift not just in the areas that white people allowed us to succeed in, but in any area we chose. Okay, do you, who is W.E.B. Du Bois? W.E.B. Du Bois, a famous writer and activist. Uh, fighting for black rights in the early 1900s. He wrote the book, The Souls of Black Folks, which uh, was definitely an eye-opener at the time. It was a uh, thing that was unique about the book was the fact that he was kind of writing it, oh, he was writing it for an educational level that was much higher than the average black person was receiving at that time. So it was kind of like he was writing to, to the people that was oppressing his people. 